we have the integral of e to the square root of x. So if it was just e to the x, we would get e to the x and we would be done. Uh, but it's not. It's e to the square root of x. So what you want to do in this case is you make a u substitution. right? You let u equal the square root of x. Now let's suppose you didn't know how to do this. Um, this is really the only thing you can do. right? So you try it and you write it down. So now um, you have to think, well, du is going to be kind of annoying because we're going to have a square root. So it's actually easier if you square both sides. So you end up with u squared equals, and then you square this thing, and you get x. Now you compute du, so you take the derivative of both sides. So this becomes 2u du, boom, equals dx. There it is. So now you make your substitution, right? So dx is going to be here. That's 2u du. So that's 2u du. Right? All we've done so far is replace the dx, and then we have e to the u. So now the problem becomes to integrate 2u times e to the u. So the easiest way to do that is with something called tabular integration. So let me show you how to do that. So tabular integration can be used when, after repeated differentiation, one of the pieces is eventually 0, in this case 2u. Right? If we differentiate that, we get 2. If we differentiate that, we get 0. So that allows us to use tabular. Then you take the other piece and you just keep integrating it. So you write it down, you integrate it, so you get e to the u, and you get e to the u. Again, tabular can be used when one of the factors after repeated differentiation is eventually 0. So like in this case, 2u. So we differentiate that one, integrate the other one always, every single time. Then you start with plus, right? So plus, minus plus. Then you draw arrows, right? Arrows. And then you just follow the arrows. This is 2u e to the u minus 2 e to the u plus c. That's almost it. We just got to replace u with the square root of x. This is 2 square root of x e to the square root of x minus 2 e to the square root of x plus c. And that is the final answer. So that's how you integrate e to the square root of x. I hope this video has made sense.